Okay, so now we've got all the old invoices out of the way. Let's uh, create some new ones. And first we'll go into the setup and what we're going to do is change this to our next real starting invoice number. So say it was 1874 is our next real invoice number. Okay, tap back on the modules. And now what I want to do is I'm going to go into the invoices and I'm going to tap on the plus button to manually add a new invoice and as you can see we've got our new number here you can set the date for the invoice if you want and we're going to go into the client here we're going to say it's our new client ABC and we tap on the time entries and this shows us all the time entries that are available for billing so we can select all if we want and as you can see it adds a check mark on there or you can deselect all or you can tap on a row to individually add or subtract any of the items from here. So now that we've got that, we'll say that's okay. If you have any expenses, you can tap on those and add those. And as you can see, it starts to add up the amounts here. And this, will, if anything's taxable, it will automatically add the tax. And we also have an extra section in here where you can take a deposit. So say that the customer gave you a hundred dollar deposit you can put that here that applies that towards there and you can see that the invoice total amount is decreasing now uh, we have discounts and you can either do a percentage or an amount and let's say that we did a discount of two percent so we'll add that here and tax the tax rate is pulled from the client record or you can override that here if you want. So as you can see this automatically pulled the 7% from our ABC company and also the terms pulled from our client record too. So, or we could override that by selecting that here. Uh, if they have a PO number you can add the additional PO number and if you want to add a short little note on the invoice you can do that here too. So now we're going to hit save and that will create this invoice and you can see we now have 1874 the amount due on this thing is 1747.63 and it's a status of pending and now for example if we go back into the time entries and we look at one of these ABC records you'll notice that on the bottom now that we have our invoice number and the status of pending okay and we can also uh, go back to the auto invoice and if we wanted we could do another automatically create one for the month and this will generate any items that we didn't pick manually so you can see it created two more and now we have three invoices in here that are current 1874, 75 and 76 with these companies okay once you're finished with an invoice you'll want to email it and now you can e email it to one of two places so for example say we had the ABC and we tap on that row to bring up the invoice it will generate the invoice we can preview that right on the iPhone so here's our invoice and if it was multiple pages you, would, you could scroll it uh, you can also turn it into landscape mode if you want to view it this way you can expand things if you want to read things a little easier pinch in, pinch out, whatever you feel like and as you can see here's our nice little neat invoice here okay and if you can email it to yourself if you want and this way you can preview it on your laptop or a computer and uh, as you can see the subject in the uh, message body from our setup also it has our invoice uh, email address that we picked so we could send that to ourselves and it, we can from there we can either print it or fax it if you want or if you want to send it directly to the client you can also just email directly to the client and in the client record we had set the sales at abc.com and we could send that to them so that's basically how the invoices work and uh, I encourage you to read the manual, download our manual from our website at on-core.com and look for the Time Master and download the documentation under the documentation link. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy the invoice module.